For anybody to leave their own country and immigrate to a brand new place, just pack up and go without any idea of what they're walking into is quite a feat in itself. They had nothing uh, behind them. They had nothing to rely on. Uh, they had nobody mentoring them. Some of them left babies behind and they came back uh, to you know, bring, their family, bring their family back over with them and for them to be encountering their children now as fully grown adults. I mean, I, I can't even fathom that. And I think it's quite amazing that these people did this. They left their families behind, not knowing if they'd ever come back for them. And they took a chance. And for them to land on such a distant shore uh, with an intention uh, and nothing else except their uh, capacity for hard work. People were not allowed to vote. Women were not allowed to vote. People of ethnic minorities were not allowed to vote. And the sacrifices that these people made to give us those opportunities, I really value that. I think early on the community was very small, but they stuck together. It was not about individuals, but more about the community as a collective and how they can work together in a common cause. And it was huge. I mean, the community wouldn't be here today if those folks did not make those compromises and sacrifices to make a life better for the next generation. To see these people have grown successful businesses, they immigrated to other places, they built their own churches in a land where they were not welcome. And so it really is a telling of their personalities. They persevered, they were resilient, they were strong, and they did whatever it took to get what they needed, do what they needed to do to become successful and thrive. A lot has been done, a lot of heavy lifting had gone on uh, for the collective, for the community, so that my generation, the generation that's going to come after me, could be successful. I, I cannot believe the vision uh, that those pioneers had, the passion that they had, the sacrifices that they were able to make. I don't think I, I could ever match what, uh, what they did. People gave up their lives for these types of things. They worked so hard, they advocated, they had rallies, etc. So how can we not value the efforts that these people made and not take advantage of these opportunities that were laid before us only because of the actions of these people? They created their own path and if they could do it, then so can we. It's important to remember that all the things that we can take for granted, uh, and many of us do, um, it's not right because it's been very, very difficult to get to this point. You know, there was a time when we almost saw it as a bit of a detriment to say, okay, well, I've got some sort of quote-unquote ethnic background. There was biases, there was prejudice there, and we were trying to fit into a culture that we weren't very familiar with and trying to, you know, see how we can adapt to it. Now, I think it's we're beyond trying to adapt. It's like who we are. Uh, but I think these days, um, you know, the lens that provides and the advantage that gives you uh, in regards to perspective, uh, I think that's the advantage we have. When you hear their stories of how little they came with and how they uh, had to sacrifice a lot, their time, their energy, their efforts, um, it makes you realize how much more you can give to this society, to our country, to our nation. It's really inspired me to uh, make sure that I, I am careful about how I move forward in my career and mindful of the way uh, that I carry myself as a leader in the community. When we look at the pioneers, they made an effort to stand up for their rights, for their values. They had a love of their language, a love of their culture, of their food, of their music. And because of that connection, and because they maintained that value, we've developed a society that's very rich and multicultural, that everyone can benefit from. You try painting a picture of a Canadian, and you couldn't do it because Canada is this multicultural fabric that we greatly talk about today. Uh, but it was, it, it, we talk about that today because of those sacrifices that were made 100 years ago. We're really fortunate to be here and uh, to carry on that legacy. I think there's, a, there's definitely a huge debt that's owed by, by many communities uh, to, to those pioneers. The one thing they always did was to give back uh, and always help others who need a helping hand. And within that, I think the broader community succeeded. They succeeded when other people succeeded too. So uh, the one value I take from the pioneers is to always give back to wherever you can. For all those opportunities that were lost along the way, for all of those hardships that were endured, I think the best thing that we can do is to make a positive impact in our community. The responsibility really is, is to move forward and uh, you know, see what we need uh, to create more harmony in our community. And if there's a barrier or an obstacle to that, it's our job to, to get that obstacle out of the way. I really have no excuse to say that I cannot accomplish something because what they accomplish is my, it's a lot more than what I will ever do in my life. It's a bright hundred years uh, ahead of us, 
but uh, the last 100 years have taught us a lot.